and welcome to Divi Coaching. Today we're going to be having a look at a new feature of Divi called Divi Quick Sites. Now this is included in v4 and will also be rolled out into the future v5 version of Divi. This allows you to very quickly build a website, um, not just one page at a time that you used to be able to build using the templates, but a full website in one click in less than a couple of minutes. So let's have a look at Divi Quick Sites. As ever, I'm starting with a brand new installation of WordPress. I like to do that just to make sure that there's no bits and pieces left over in the database or in any of the files, uh, which can happen if you keep uh, enabling and disabling themes. So brand new installation, and uh, I've not so far done anything to it. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to head over to the dashboard and we're going to go to themes. I'm going to do add new theme. Now I've just downloaded the very latest version of Divi from the Elegant Themes website. If you don't yet have a Divi license, please do use uh, the link in the description below and that will take you to Elegant Themes and you can purchase your Divi license. Once you've done that, you can click here on Upload Theme, choose File and in my Downloads folder I have Divi and I'm going to click Open and Install Now. This takes a minute or two and once it's installed we'll be able to activate the theme and we can go in and see what's new in Divi. And here we are, we get the completion screen here, uh, installing the theme, theme installed successfully and I'm going to click on activate. What's new now in this version of Divi is that we get taken to this introduction screen and we get asked to log in to activate our license. So we click on this, we'll then be asked to log in to Elegant Themes and it will uh, create a license key for us for this website. I think that's really good. A lot of people uh, think that their Elegant Themes login API key is theirs and they use the same one on every site. Actually, if you do go to the Elegant Themes website and you look under your uh, member area, API keys, you can see that you have the ability to create a new API key for every site that you build. That's really good practice, particularly if you're creating sites for other people, because if you ever need to deactivate the license, like for example, they buy their own license, it's very easy to do that. If you use the same license key throughout, you don't have that option. So with this new version of Divi, it's created a new license key for me. So it means I don't have to go into the Divi dashboard to mess around. And it's told me that my license key is active and that Divi is up to date. So far, you can see we have no pages built with Divi on the website. If we go to the Pages page, uh, which you can do either from the traditional dashboard menu or simply by clicking on Pages here, you can see that we have the standard WordPress default pages. So I'm actually going to uh, send both of those to the trash. Okay, having done that, it's very easy to get back. If we come down to Divi here and go to Dashboard, we're back on this dashboard page. Now, New things here, so documentation. So there's quick access to the Divi Builder documentation pages. So if you click on this, for example, you'll be get taken straight to the Elegant Themes documentation pages. Now this is all currently for Divi version four. Uh, in the future, I'm sure it will all be updated for V5. So you have that. You have uh, instant access to support. But the thing that we're here to look at today is this Divi Quick Sites. And this is really exciting. For the first time, instead of having to go in and pick a template for each of the pages that you want to include in your site, you can go in here, choose a theme, and it will generate an entire website for you in less than two minutes. So let's have a go at doing that. I'm going to click on Generate New Site. There are two options here. Um, one is to use a pre-made starter site, and the other is to generate your site with AI. Now, I'm not going to look at the AI option today. Um, if you're new to Divi, uh, it will let you create four sites with the AI. And at that stage, you then will need to subscribe to a different license. You'll need to subscribe to the Divi AI license. Well worth looking at, and I am going to look at that in another tutorial, because it's absolutely mind blowing. You can give it some basic themes and it will actually write the copy for your website and retrieve some images for you from Unsplash. And it will go a long way towards creating a specific tailored website for your business. As I say, we're not going to look at that today. For now, we're going to use this use a pre-made starter site. So I'm going to click on select a website template. And at the moment, there's what, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, there's quite a few here, so probably uh, 30 odd websites. So I'm going to go with this coffee shop here. 
I'm going to go start with coffee. And it's going to let me name it. So I'm going to name it uh, Divi Coffee Shop. Uh, it's going to let me set a site slogan. So perfect coffee every time. And it's going to let me choose the pages that I want to create. So yes, we want an about, a contact, a menu page, a blog page and a home page. I don't want a shop page at this stage, but it's interesting to see that you could choose a shop and it's going to install WooCommerce for you. So a really quick way to get set up with an e-commerce store. Anyway, I'm not going to do that for now. So that's it. I've got my pages. I'm not going to add any more pages for the moment, but you do have the option to add a custom page if you want to. Uh, as I say, I'm not going to do that for the moment. There is one more option up here to upload a logo. I'm not going to do that for now. I'm going to see what it gives me by default. So once I've done that, I'm going to click on generate and publish my website. Now, this is really impressive. It's going to go through. It's going to build all of the pages. It's going to build the theme builder templates for me. Um, really quite astonishing that it is doing all of this. The, the old way, you used to have to create a page, then you used to have to go to the uh, Elegant Themes theme library, and you had to choose the content for that page. Once you've done all of that, you then had to go into the theme builder. You had to build the header separately, whereas this is doing all of this. It's going to create the theme builder header for me and everything that I need to, to be able to go in and customize this site to make it my own. So I'm really pleased. I think this is fantastic. So there we are in that short explanation. My website is complete. If I click on this Manage Website Pages at the bottom, it'll actually open a new window, and that new window is the Pages page from the website dashboard. So my site is ready. View my site. So I'm going to click here on View my site. And here we are. We have a complete coffee shop. And if we scroll down, we can see we've got all the icons. It's chosen a font for us. It's got uh, where to find us. We've got some nice um, background images going on here lots of effects. We've even got a little video. Today, we are excited to release yeah, Divi AI, a powerful uh, text and image so generator. It's good old Nick telling us all about Divi AI. And that, that video, by the way, is well worth a watch. So now that I've got this, um, I'm going to have a little look behind the scenes to see what they've actually given us. So I'm going to go to the dashboard and I'm going to come down to Theme Builder. And we can see in the Theme Builder, it's actually a uh, imported quite a lot of different things here. Now, I'm not quite sure what these unassigned uh, themes are, but we can see there's a global header. So if I come into the global header, you can see that I, I have the header here. So we have, this is probably a menu module, I should think. Yeah, we have a menu module um, and we have a button. Uh, if we have a look at the responsiveness here, we can see that it's already all worked out to work for um, both tablet and the mobile view. So pretty much everything that we need. So once we're happy with that, I'm going to come out of that. I'm going to discard because I haven't actually changed anything. We can also see that we've got a global footer. So if we come into the global footer here, we can see we have our global footer. Again, we could come in, we could edit the address or the telephone number, or we can change uh, this menu. So these are just simply uh, text boxes in here, which are linking to different pages. So someone's actually made this into a menu. So this is all fantastic. If we don't like this orange and we want to change it to a different color, it's pretty easy. We can come into background. We can see the color is um, an orange color and we can see that in global here, we have all of our colors set up. So we have our primary, secondary, a heading color, a body text color and a couple of shades. So if we want to change this primary color to say blue, we can come in here and we can find a shade of blue that we like the look of when we're 100 percent happy with it. We can click here. It will ask us to make sure that we're happy. We're going to change the global color and we can click on yes and on the tick to confirm. Now, when we come out of the footer and save all of our changes, we will find that this color has been applied throughout our website where the primary color is used. So you can see here it's changed the color of the uh, text in this button. It's changed the color of our active menu item and the headlines throughout the site. Just by changing that one global color, we've changed the primary color throughout our website. So this is all looking absolutely brilliant. And if we go back to Divi and we go back to Theme Builder, 
as well as the global header and footer that we've just looked at, there is also some custom bodies. So if we went to all posts, for example, had a look at the custom body, you can see that they've created a template for a post and that's really good. So if we went in here, for example, looked at the settings, we can see this is actually using the featured image. So this is choosing featured image from the dynamic data option. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, let me just show you. So if we come in here and say delete this image, and we then come into add image, but instead of clicking on this AI or on the add image here, we click on this little thing that looks like a database and we say what we want to add is the featured image. And what will happen then is for each post that you create um, and you'll be creating posts, if you're, if you're creating your posts like this, you'll be creating them in Gutenberg. So in other words, in the default WordPress post editor. If you don't understand that, there are various tutorials out there and I will also be doing one fairly soon. But essentially this um, Quick Sites has created for us a post template which will be used to display all of our posts. So that again, an amazing feature of the new Quick Sites system. Um, again, I haven't changed anything, so I'm going to discard that. We can see that it's also created a custom body for the category pages, the author pages, and for search results, and also for a 404 page. So that's really good, really comprehensive set of pages that have been created automatically for us by Quick Sites. One more thing I'm going to have a look at is to see whether this is using uh, presets or not. So I'm going to come into the Visual Builder. And once we get there, I'm going to come into the section here. And it does say Coffee Dark Gradient Overlay is the section preset. And you can see here, if you don't understand about presets, I'll put a link in the description and also on screen now to my tutorial on presets. These can be quite confusing at first. Have a good look through it. It's a very powerful thing. Presets are really useful. So do look at that tutorial and do spend some time getting to understand how presets work. Because as I say, it can be a little bit confusing. Okay, so let's have a look. We're looking at Coffee Dark Gradient. So we're gonna have a little look at that preset. If you wanna know what someone's done in a preset, you can simply come up to the top here and you can say, go view modified styles. And it will tell me all the styles that have been modified in this preset. And actually all that's happened in here is that someone has created a background gradient. So that's a really useful tip if you wanna find out what's happened in a preset. So not only have these new templates used the global colors, but they've also used the presets, which is really good. So one more thing we're gonna have a look at is how we have dealt with the fonts. So I'm gonna come out to the theme customizer, to general settings, typography, and you'll see that it has also gone in and it's set up the default font to um, encode sans condensed, and the uh, font weight to semi-bold, and it set the body font to Josephine Sands weight medium. Again, something I tell people to do right at the beginning of setting up every site is to come in here and to set the default fonts. And the reason for doing that is you don't have to set the fonts up in each module. And if you decide you don't like a font, so say we want to change this uh, header font throughout, all we have to do is come into the uh, customizer and we can just simply change the font to something different. So let's just go like that. So there we are, just in one click, we have changed our headings throughout the whole site to a different font. And if we don't like that, I'm simply just not gonna publish it and I'm not gonna save the changes. So I'm gonna go back to the site and here we are. So I'm really impressed with how this Divi Quick Sites has been put together. All too often you see that the templates don't use the theme builder and they don't use presets and they don't use global colors. But in this case, there's some really good thought gone into it and presets have been used, global colors have been used, it makes it really easy for you to go in and customize this to make it your own. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Lots more content coming soon. As Divi 5 comes out, I'm gonna be making a whole series of tutorials on Divi 5 and the new and super quick builder interface. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.